Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Path to Higher Purpose, my podcast. If you're not familiar, my name is Russ. And this podcast is basically what goes on in my head, what goes on in my brain, as I'm trying to figure out my path to my purpose and my life and just some of the struggles and issues that I go through and some of the things that I have successfully done in the past and also failed at. Um, I like to share those to hopefully help you along your journey as you figure out your path to your purpose. The path to higher purpose is the collection of life experiences that led us to where we are today. I've been traveling on this road for a long time, all in hopes of finding my true purpose. I've experienced a lot of highs and a lot of lows, and I'm willing to share them, hopefully adding value to your journey. So together, let's walk this path and find our higher purpose. So it's been a minute since I've done a podcast, and to tell you the truth, I think what happened to me was the holidays kind of got to me. You know, I'm not really into the holidays like I used to be as a kid. I think a lot of that has to do with the passing of my mom. But I mean, it's been years. And now that I've been doing these podcasts, I've been honestly on social media a lot more. I've been doing a lot more self-reflection and I realize just how screwed up I really am. You know, now that I have kids and we have holidays and I should be in the mood and decorating and all of that. I realized that I'm really broken and I'm just not really into it. And I have to change that. Somehow I need to trick myself to find appreciation in it again. So I don't ruin it just for everyone else. But um, I don't know if you're out there and you can relate. Drop a comment or send me a DM or something. Because I don't think I'm the only one. I just think the holidays, or you go through something tragic or a loss in your family, it just really takes a lot of it away, and it takes a long time to heal from it. So if you're out there, I get you. And if you're out there and you get me, you know, just saying, hang in there. Um, Little by little, it does get better. But anyways, in this self-reflection journey, I realized that I didn't do a podcast for a long time. I mean, I think I was on a run where I was doing a lot. And then all of a sudden, I took a break for maybe six weeks. That became seven and then eight. And now I'm back. But I want to say, I think I understand what happened. I think there's a thing, at least for myself. You know, I started doing research on cameras. I started doing research on lighting started doing research on sound and how to get more views, how to get your reels more noticed, how to get your YouTube video more noticed, how to get more followers, just things like that. And you start going down this rabbit hole where you just realize, damn, I'm doing a lot of education, which I think is great. YouTube University, you could learn so much. Well, what happens to me is that I start seeing videos and I see the subject and then I click on it and I realize man, I already know all this information. So then I go and find another video. I still know all that information. There's nothing new under the sun that anyone's sharing that I haven't already researched. And I realized the only thing that's stopping my progress is just myself, like over-education. And there's a certain point in your life where you've learned enough. It's time for you to spread your wings And go on your journey and see if you can do whatever you're trying to do. Whether it's you're trying to watch videos on how to fix your car. There comes a time where you got to go out there with your toolbox and maybe you're going to break your car. But you need to see if you can do whatever you learned. And I'm kind of in that stage, you know. I'm trying to put myself out there. I'm trying to do these podcasts. I'm trying to make more content. I'm trying to really push myself to grow as a person as a creator, as someone creative, I'm trying to grow my skills in art. And there's a certain point when I've learned enough and now I need to actually apply what I've learned. So I'm here now and that's what I'm doing. That's really what my goal is for 2023. I feel like for the last 10 years, I've done little things here and there, but I haven't made the progress that I really wanted to. And I think a lot of it has to do with over-education and less action. So let's see if I could do it, but I'm attempting 
to put in more action. This kind of goes into the next thing. Um, I was just recently on a podcast and on that podcast, I was talking about how there's this concept. Um, I was at my shop. My friend Carino came through. Shout out Carino. And I was talking to him about these people that want to keep it real and stay underground. And to me, that's completely fine. If you have your art and your craft, whether you're a musician, you're an artist, um, whatever you're doing, and you want to just keep it like super underground, keep it small, not really put yourself out there. You don't have to do social media, things like that. I mean, that's completely fine. Like more power to you and I'm proud of you. And that's fantastic. But if you go home, And you're upset because when you go on IG, you don't have the following that you wanted. When you go on YouTube, you don't have the followers that you wanted. And you're not getting endorsements. You're not getting customers. You're not getting people listening to your music, anything like that. Well, you got to ask yourself, are you underground because you're scared? Or are you underground because you failed at going overground. So I guess what I'm saying is it's completely fine to be underground and have your underground dreams and underground thoughts. That's cool. If that's genuinely where your heart wants you to be. But if you're trying to go above ground and have more customers, more, more people following your page, more people interested in your art. Well, there comes a point when you can't be underground And you have to start acting like someone above ground. You can't have above ground dreams from an underground level. It just doesn't work that way. You got to put in the work. So instead of using the term underground and overground, because it sounds ridiculous, let's just talk about people that have made it in their path on whatever they're doing. The ones that have made it for the most part, I guarantee they put in more work. They've done more reps. They've failed more. They've put themselves out more. Probably. When they're doing podcasts like this, they have better lighting. They have better microphones. They also shoot from a really nice camera. They do the things that are required at a pro level, like at a higher level. So if you're a creative like me, or you're an amateur at whatever you do, but you dream of making it higher and getting to the upper level of whatever you're doing, then maybe you got to ask yourself, like, am I cool with where I'm at? Or do I actually want to be? higher because the truth is the reason why you're probably not there probably has a lot more to do with you than it has to do with anybody not paying attention to whatever you're doing you're probably doing underground behaviors expecting overground results and that's on you that really goes hand in hand with me finding the flaws in myself realizing what was stalling my growth what continues to stall my growth and how i can better myself I think that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. And for myself, I know that I fall into that trap all the time. But I've come to realize I don't want I don't want to be ground level. I don't want to. Like I've attempted to do like a grassroots kind of growing. And to tell you the truth, I don't have the patience anymore or the time required to just keep on sprinkling seeds all around, crossing my fingers, hoping that I grow. I got to put in the work. I got to farm the fields. I got to wake up early. I got to water. I got to buy a tractor. I got to do those things. If you really want to keep it real, and the most underground thing you can do is truly keeping it real. And are you keeping it real to yourself? I don't know who out there is listening, but I truly hope this helps you. If your dreams are big and you're failing to succeed at them, there's no shame in that. But if your dreams are big and all you're going to do is just sit at home on your couch complaining that your dreams aren't coming true well that is truly on you and i'm sorry keep on watching videos like this hear people tell you the same thing over and over again and continue to be in the same place or go look in the mirror and realize you got some stuff to fix you got some work to put in and go do those reps and before you know it you're gonna look like arnold schwarzenegger all buffed out and You can do it. It's just a matter of if you want to. Hopefully that helps someone out there. And until next time, 
I myself am going to try to put in the reps. I'm going to try to do more of these podcasts. I'm going to try to put myself out there more, um, continue to make content and continue to get better and better so I can eventually make it to those upper levels. So, you know, I'm ground leveling it just like you guys, but I'm putting in work and I see you on the way up. Don't hesitate to say hi. So until next time, thanks so much for listening. Path to Higher Purpose. Peace.